Hello everybody, I'm Jarkko Autio from Helsinki. 1890 I was the, the chairperson of, of um, Finnish Association for History Students and then we got the information that there will be a conference of history students, international conference of history students in Budapest in 1990. And, uh, we got to know also that it will be the founding conference of, of an European association or international association. And, and then we went there, so I was attending the first conference in 1990 and then after that in the following four conferences. Well, I think the people were really uh, enthusiastic in, in, in building a kind of common ground for changing ideas and, and well, learning also from each other. Probably the founding conference was, of, of course, the most, <laughs> the most important one because it was kind of senses and it was kind of exciting and there was kind of weird discussions and learning and kind of mutual understanding and such things. Then the page conference was interesting because then we proposed our own conference for 1992 and we wanted to have a topic as a gender history which was kind of breaking idea and it was kind of strange for every well, for many many students still. Mm -hmm. Well, the 92 conference was important because then I chose to, to uh, place myself into to, 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 the, to the international secretary or candidate for, for the international secretariat. And, well, I think the three first ones were important and also the fourth one where, where we were the secretariat and we had to propose all the new things because Isha was all the time kind of developing in the beginning. There were all changes and all kind of sh shifts and, and controversies, and but everything was in, 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 in a kind of nice sense that there, there was no arguments, but uh, but some, somehow there was kind of controversies between between the, the, the sections. It was kind of crazy thing when we organized it and it was a deep depression in Finland and we didn't have money in the beginning and then we suddenly we got money it's a long story but I don't go into that <laughs> and then the week we we had the conference it was heavy it was like five days without sleeping and I slept something like nine hours during the five days and, but it was crazy <laughs> it was so fun Well, in five years there happens a lot and spending also one year in, in, in the whole year in Asia Secretariat, there are a lot of anecdotes, but maybe I mentioned just a few. First, I think, was the moment when we started in 1990 conference, go through the statutes of Isha, new, new association, and we, we kind of learned the mutual understanding about what is voting. What means yes, no, and absent votes? Because for for some people, the absent was they meant with with that that they want to say no, but they were not allowed to vote no, and so because we, we the voting procedure was so that everybody had one vote, so if they were would have been 10 Finns, they would have 10 votes. And it was kind of, it was an interesting, interesting thing. Then probably the next anecdote that I, I always remember was the um, in Badge conference when we were, uh, were proposing the, the to, to the general meeting, the um, Helsinki conference topic to be his story and or her story. So gender history was the topic and there was heavy discussion about what it is and then I don't mention any names but there was this British guy from from highly appreciated university who 
was like uh, telling that it's very stupid and idea to to organize this kind of gender conference it's it's not very good good idea and then there was a woman from edinburgh and she said to this guy that i find your idea your comments highly unintellectual and stupid and it was everybody remembers it since like 28 years when when we discuss about that well, the third one would be the sauna party of Helsinki conference, but that I, that I skip. Mainly my career has been in, in, in research. I've been working at the university and different kind of research projects and posts, but studying economic history mostly, but also some consumer studies and such things. Uh, Still, I'm finishing, hopefully this year, my PhD. And, but now I'm working in the, in the administration, uh, kind of educational administration of, of the Faculty of Social Sciences at the Helsinki University. The influence is that I still have friends through ISA, for example. That's a big influence. But my best Isha friend, uh, colleague in, in Belgium, Natalie, has a birthday next weekend, so we just sent it her flowers and red roses, and I think it's very important kind of heritage from Isha to have great friends. And we are visiting her at least every second year. We should visit her more often. Mm -hmm. And the secretariat after us, where there was Jan Berkruch, Josef Litke and Esko Varha, they, they are all people that I'm still, still in contact. Of course, when I started to work at the university, I, I encouraged the, our students in economic and social history to, to join each and I told these stories and so on. But otherwise, I have been following, and I w we were planning with, with uh, to go to this alumni meeting, which was in May this year, I think, in Leuven. But then we then we didn't have time, so we we skipped it. But it would have been very interesting to go there. I think the best lesson is that even if I can I, I can think that still in the conferences, the papers which students present are quite nationalistic. But I think it's this discussion about going beyond nationalistic ideologies and, and at least discussing them and, and discussing them, them academically already in your, during your student life, it's very important. And also I think just the, the fact to, to meet people from different cultures and getting friends and, and all these this kind of being social with, 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 with our borders, not just thinking about your own fellow students and, and, and opening yourself for, for different people. Well, this could be a place where we could talk probably half an hour or whatever. But I think that just basically two words would be good, like tolerate and cooperate. It's, it's my message for future, future generations and earlier generations to every generation that when you, you in a, during your studies, have a, have a kind of international organization, it's a place where you tolerate other cultures and other opinions and other kind of people and then you start to cooperate.